This morning, as patients with COVID-19 continue to pile into the emergency department and the ICU at Mount Sinai, there is some very promising, possibly life-saving news from deep inside the hospital's lab. We have so many patients who are sick, they need uh, some hope of a treatment. Dr. Jeffrey Jang and his colleagues have developed a new test that may speed up and improve an old therapy. Transfusing the plasma of patients who have recovered from COVID-19 into patients who are critically ill. The technique used effectively in the past in the SARS, H1N1 flu, in Ebola epidemics. And more recently, the Chinese used it in their battle with the coronavirus. Mount Sinai's new test, a cutting-edge weapon, created by a team led by Dr. Florian Kramer. Then we can uh, get a readout, uh, which is basically a change in color. And by doing that, we can determine um, if somebody has already immunity to COVID-19. The darker the color, the higher the antibodies. While other tests measure whether the antibody is there or not, our assay can also measure how much of the antibody is there. And that's important because we can identify those donors with a high amount of antibody who would most likely benefit the patients. The hospital put out a call for those who had recovered and was stunned when 10,000 people volunteered. Danny Reamer was one of the first. Rima and his wife, Shira, live in New Rochelle, one of the first hot spots in the New York City area. They were only mildly ill, never hospitalized, recovering at home with their three kids, none of whom got sick. As soon as we were released from quarantine, the first place we went was Mount Sinai. And to qualify for the donation program, you simply need to have a blood test and uh, demonstrate that your antibody numbers are high, and you have to have a negative swab. It's very simple. We have a picture of you contributing your plasma. What were you thinking? This is probably the least heroic way possible to be a hero. It doesn't take much to make a big, big impact. Each donor provides the equivalent of four doses of plasma, two doses being given to the sickest patients here. In the past few days, Mount Sinai has given 11 very sick patients the plasma of those who have recovered. Is it working? I know that the expression game changer has a lot of weight to it. But might this therapy be a game changer? I, I think we'll be able to evaluate the first patients that we have treated in a couple of weeks. It isn't just Mount Sinai pushing to get convalescent plasma therapy up and running around the country. A group of doctors in 22 states from some of the country's leading research centers are spearheading the effort. The group started at Johns Hopkins, where they're focusing on using plasma to keep health workers and first responders from getting ill. I believe that this is a potential disease-altering treatment. Dr. Michael Joyner at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota is also one of the leaders. I'm hopeful we can modify the course of the disease, prevent high-risk individuals from getting it, uh, reduce the risk of people in the hospital from needing ICU care, and shorten the stay of people who are in the ICU. So Dr. Joyner, Joyner told us that uh, Mayo, the Mayo Clinic has in fact taken its first plasma donation and a few days that will probably be put into a patient they're hoping to keep out of the ICO. All the doctors we talked to said that the FDA has been a terrific partner in trying to get this all out there and that they are hopeful that within a few days, a few weeks, so as soon as possible, they will make this Mount Sinai test available across the country. It is a truly uh, a bright spot in a very dark situation.